Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. Today we will discuss the topic home based education. I am Sarika Rai Sharma from Mahatma Gandhi Antarashtri Hindi Vishwavidyale Vardha Maharashtra. In this particular presentation we will discuss what is home based education, the background and policy recommendations regarding home based education, who may opt for home based education, the reasons for opting home based education, procedure and features for home based education and finally the advantages of home based education. Generally home based education is defined as the education of children with severe intellectual or physical disabilities who can be educated in the combination of home based and alternate educational settings to enable them to achieve independent living skills. Home based education aims at school preparedness and preparation of for life. Alternate educational settings provide opportunities for learning of social skills, vocational skills and implementation of life skills as suggested by the document released by SSA in July 2006 discovering new paths to inclusion, a documentation of home based practices for children with special needs. The practice of home based education was initiated by the Sarv Siksha Abhiyan as a pathway to inclusion. The SSA adopted a zero rejection policy for all children. It was also mentioned in the Comprehensive Action Plan for Inclusive Education of 2005. MHRD agreed that home based education should be used for preparing a child for a school and the child must attend the neighborhood school. Policy recommendations regarding home based education. As mentioned in the SSA document, Discovering New Paths to Inclusion, a documentation of home based practices for children with special needs 2006 a large number of children with special needs are out of school owing to the severe nature of their disabilities which might not be accommodated in a regular classroom setting in the present time as there is a scarcity of necessary infrastructure there are children who at some point in their lives may need a special education program that is completely outside the purview of the regular classroom. Policy recommendations SSA has determined to ensure that every child with special needs irrespective of kind, category and degree of disability should be provided meaningful and quality education. In order to fulfill the zero rejection policy, it follows a multi-option model for children with special needs. This means that no child having special needs should be deprived of the right to education and taught in an environment which is best suited to his or her learning needs. These include special schools, education guarantee scheme centers, alternate and innovative education centers or even home based education. Now comes the question who may opt for home based education provided that a child with multiple disabilities as referred to in clause H of section 2 and a child with severe disability referred to in clause O of section 2 of National Trust for Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disabilities Act 1999 may opt for home based education. Such children with severe or multiple disabilities may have difficulties in reaching the school, especially in remote rural, tribal or mountain terrains of our country, a CWSN reaching a school may not be possible. In some remote places, schools may be too far for the child with children with special needs to access. As education is a fundamental right of every child in our country, appropriate education should reach these children also. Hence, these children are educated at home. What could be the reasons for opting home based education? So, 
The first point that comes to our mind is that some children with special needs require highly specialized skills taught by specially trained teachers that are usually not met in mainstream schools. Secondly, some children with special needs might never respond to the demands of an academic or a standardized curriculum and will require alternatives. Third, some children with special needs could participate in an academic curriculum but would require an inordinate amount of time and attention from a regular class teacher such that it would be inequitable for the other children in the class. Fourthly, some children with special needs require the support of a peer group that is more like they are rather than being pushed out into the mainstream. Here, the peer group is more like they are, that means the peer group also includes children with special needs. Some children with special need might experience a school failure without a special education curriculum tailored to their needs. Some children with special needs have greater opportunities to success in an alternative setting because there is a greater emphasis on parental partnerships, parental cooperation and active parental participation in the education of the child. In such scenario, the active parental participation acts as a motivator for the children with special needs. What is the procedure for home-based education? First of all, training the family members to teach the child is one way of ensuring education to these children. Hence, home-based education is one of the methods to educate children who are unable to reach their school. Some children will require therapy for speech and motor aspects and it will be coordinator, coordinated by the itinerant teacher. The inclusive activities for the children with special needs provided in home-based education include preparing and conducting the following activities like flashcards, model, charts, low-cost or no-cost teaching learning materials, self-help skills, gross motor skills, facial gestures, etc. Usually, a special educator, also known as the itinerant teacher, visits the student with special needs. He appraises the child and the environment in which the child lives. Later on, after detailed assessment, the itinerant teacher prepares a plan for the child. With the help of the family members, an educational plan is prepared for the child with suitable goals and objectives. During the preparation of the individualized educational plan, the timings of the visit of the itinerant teacher and the frequency of the visits are decided with the help of the family members. Teaching strategies are taught to a family member through demonstration. This family member is usually termed as the trainer. The progress of the child with special needs are maintained by a systematic record by the teacher, by the itinerant teacher. Once the child with special need improves, the next level program is planned for the child. Now, what are the features of the home-based education? The home-based education is a combination of home-based and alternative educational settings. Secondly, it is usually imparted by a teacher of in model inclusive school and family is the active participant in planning, intervention and evaluation. It is imparted by the teachers to enable the child with special needs with severe disabilities to achieve social skills, vocational skills and independent life skills. It aims at school readiness and preparation for life. It is an efficient mechanism of service delivery mode in inclusive education. What are the advantages of home-based education? The home-based education 
is built upon a parent itinerant teacher partnership that develops mutual trust and hence the parents or the family members of the children with special needs acts as a effective teacher thus leading to home based early interventions in addressing the needs of the child the second advantage here involves the accessibility to well coordinated range of services by the family and the child with special needs it addresses the child's and family's social physical and special needs and it improves the quality of life for both the child with special needs show improvement in degree of eye contact improvement in comprehension of instructions improvement in communication skills and thus the reduction of disruptive behavior among children with special needs it also helps in the acquisition of skills for basic activities or daily living by the child with special need coming to the conclusion so what we have discussed till now we have known that home based education is specially meant for the ultimate goal of mainstreaming the children with special needs and preparing them for a mainstream school the strategy of home based education can be used as an excellent strategy for the attainment of skills for the child with special needs and the family however it should not become the only option for the education of the child for such children who cannot attend the school due to their severe disabilities the school shall come to the child at home and provide required services like physiotherapy speech therapy writing and reading in braille etc the government shall also support a wide range of options and strategies for preparing children with special needs for mainstream schooling like brisk course home based education community based interventions school readiness programs for children with special needs through special schools resource centers preparatory program etc in this entire endeavor the ultimate aim would be to mainstream all children with special needs in neighborhood schools thank you